Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Agents Helping Agents. I'm Wesley Royal, and I'll be your host today. I am an active agent that works out of the Carmel Valley branch at Cowell Banker. Today, I'm going to go over two tips on how to get signature tags and DocuSign onto a purchase contract more quickly and efficiently. The first one's going to involve doing a copy and paste technique um, that can be used on any document. And the second one is going to be how to use a template to get all of the signature tags onto a purchase contract when you represent the seller. Um, and the second one allows you to do the, that in literally seconds instead of uh, 20 or 30 minutes. So I hope you find this helpful and let's go ahead and get started. Starting from the DocuSign homepage, click on Templates. On the left, click on New, then click on Create Template. Give the template a name, and if you wish, give it a description. Click on Upload and select an RPA to upload, then click on Open. Scroll down to add recipients to the envelope. On the first recipient, under Role, type Seller 1. Click on Add Recipient. Under Role, type Seller 2. Click on Add Recipient. Under Role, type Listing Agent. Then add your name and email. Click on Next. Scroll down and add Seller 1 and Seller 2 and your signature tags and date sign tags to the PVRS. Scroll down and add Seller 1 and Seller 2 signature tags and date sign tags to the wire fraud disclosure. Scroll to the bottom of page one of the RPA and apply initials for seller one and seller two. Here's the first tip. Click and drag around the two initial tags. Then in the upper right, click on the icon to align to the bottom. Then type Control C on a PC or Command C on a Mac. Scroll to the bottom of each remaining page and type Control V on a PC or Command V on a Mac to paste the initials. Move the tags so that they are positioned properly each time. When you get to page 10 of the RPA, place signature tags and date sign tags for seller 1, seller 2. I like to add a checkbox that there is a counter and place a text box where the counter date can be typed in. Add your signature tag, a date sign tag, and any other info you need. Then click Save and Close. Note you only have to make this template one time. To see how this template works, Go to the home screen and click on new and select an envelope 
pick any RPA that you want to sign and click open. DocuSign will tell you if the document matches a template. Click apply if it does. Under recipients, add the name and email addresses for seller one and seller two. Click on Next. Make sure the tags are properly positioned on each page and scroll to page 10 and input the date of the counter or delete the checkbox if there isn't one. Click on send. It's that easy. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you do, please click on like so that I know to make more content like this. Thank you. This is cool stuff.